Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So I have my bin of what I've recently <laughs> been warming. Things are tumbling around as you can see. This is probably about a week's worth, but probably not very like recently. I think this was all almost before Thanksgiving. Um, kind of at the tail end of the week of Thanksgiving, we had a little bit of sickness around the house. And so my last priority was kind of turning on the warmers. So I've finally today kind of gotten back into like replenishing things. So this is kind of all before then, but I still want to give my thoughts on them. As you can see, the bin's pretty full and we have quite a few bricks on the top. So maybe let's just start with those. Um, worked on some walnut raisin muffin. I feel like I only have three cubes left, but I feel like I'm almost getting, now that it's December, like this is more of a fall scent for me. I'm on my winter mode. I guess I'm like moving past this somewhat, you could say. I do love this scent, but I'm, and I'm really close to being done with it. So I could probably just use it like one more time and finish it off, which I should probably do. So I'll probably put this back into my melting basket. Part of me is like, I should put it away and start focusing on other bricks, but I'm so close to being done. So I'll put it back and maybe use it one more time and just finish it. Um, but I'm really excited I did finish a brick of crimson berry christmas so i had three cubes left as you can see i just popped the three cubes right throughout my house one go so i could easily use up the walnut raisin muffin this is really reminiscent of tis the season from bath and body works to me personally it's just like berry and spices really really nice i actually broke out another brick of it and used two more cubes so um, some of my Christmas warmers that I have out or my holiday-esque warmers have somewhat small dishes. So some of them I don't feel comfortable putting a whole brick cube in. So that has kind of derailed my like use of three cubes at a time situation. But progress is progress. We're making it work. So finished one. I was like, do I open another one back to back and use it like in the same week? Uh, but I did because these are old. These are from the brick release in 2020 of holiday. So they're pretty old. So there is that. This one is empty. That will go in my empties bin and that other one will go back into my melting basket. Um, before we get into bars, I have some two random things I guess I have a fragrance flower fall into love I believe I've stated this on my channel here I don't love <laughs> this fragrance fall into love this was from the harvest collection I feel like in the wax it's supposed to be like a fruity and like a tree note kind of combined which generally is right up my alley whatever's in this whatever makes this one up the way they blend is odd I don't know if it's too woody or like falling apples it's giving kind of like the rotted fruit or something weird that I don't love I didn't mean to throw that I'm so sorry the fragrance flower I can't believe I did that um this is empty so it's like really light the fragrance flower is better and I think that's only because it's not like as potent I can't smell it like as intensely as I could the wax when I did it. Um, would I like repurchase the fragrance flower if I could though? With that being said, no, I wouldn't. Um, and you can't anyway currently, but I, I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of the scent and I feel like people were all about it. So you might like it <laughs> just because I don't doesn't mean you won't. Um, but I have heard some other people, I believe I've said this before, some, somebody was talking about it. I do believe I'm not the only one who's like not a major fan of this scent. So there's that, but I have the fragrance flower going and you just kind of got to let that ride out. Like there's not really much you can do to speed along that process. It just kind of goes at its own pace. So we're just chilling. <laughs> um, and then I put in some new pods. So I emptied out Scarlet Sunflower. They got rotated through the whole process of pods and started some joy and wonder. I've been trying to do weekly 
pod kind of restarting the rotation. Um, so I kind of rotate them through all kinds of places. So either my Scentsy Go or in the car, at work, in the bedroom, and then finally in the bathroom. So I kind of like move them around to get different uh, places scented. And I've been trying to do that weekly to really work through my pods because I've noticed really started accumulating pods faster than I'm using them. And I love pods and um, some new pod uh, things are happening soon. So I really wanna start getting through those. Uh, okay, also Bright Cider Life Sample Cup. This is no longer available or tester, whatever you wanna call it. I used this at work one day. I generally only warm at work during very specific times. Like I don't do a ton of warming like every single day. I use my air purifier just because it's not as intense. Um, but I use this the week of Thanksgiving. Some of my coworkers were out when it's quieter, when certain people are gone that are more like scent sensitive. I feel more freedom to do scents. So I did this the day they were gone. Completely loved it. I was also using the pods at the same time at work. So it was amazing. Okay, let's get into scents. I have some from the holiday collection and then some from not the holiday collection. So let's start with the holiday. I have Sleigh Ride. This is a total hit for me. This is just like a tree scent. I really like this. This is like almost perfect for a tree scent. It's not quite as sharp as Very Snowy Spruce, so this will definitely be going in my club. It might already be in my club, uh, but if not, this will definitely be going in because I'm a major fan of that one, and I have two cubes left, so I need to finish that up. I better make sure I put that in the right pile. Okay, I also worked on Cranberry Candy Cane. I try to do like minty scents when we're not feeling well, just because it makes me feel better. So I actually started this because of that. Um, this is definitely not super candy cane minty forward though. Like it's there, but it's very fruity and cranberry also. And I don't know if I love the combination of those two. Like some times you can put things with mint and I feel like it goes together. This combination I feel like is competing for who wants to be stronger and it's not going well for them. Like if the competition is not ending well. It's not like apple and pumpkin competing and it's making a really gorgeous combination between the two. It's almost like okay am I getting cranberry or am I getting candy cane and like who's winning and they're not combining well they're just like fighting I don't know it's very interesting I'm curious to see what other people think about this because I'm curious why these were the two scents combined like why cranberry and candy cane I know cranberry is very winter appropriate scent and obviously candy cane but I don't know. I just don't know about this one. I don't know how I feel. I feel like the cranberry feels like a warm scent and obviously candy cane, minty, cold. So TBD on this one. Not sure about it. Curious to know what the rest of you think. Um, and then Rum Pum Plum. This one on cold, I was like, this feels very similar to Sweet Plum Pastry. And I was like really, really excited. When it was going in the warmers, it really reminded me of the Wildberry Jam Donut candle from Bath and Body Works a couple years ago. And I actually have to say, I didn't like it. Like I actually, once it was going was like, I'm not a fan of this. So that is why you have to warm things. Like it's important to warm things to actually get your sign because sometimes the opposite happens. On cold, you're like, this is gross. And then you warm it and you're like, okay, it's actually really good. Um, unfortunately, I had the opposite experience with this, which is a bummer because I had, right before I warmed it, I had listened to a video of Hannah's and she was like talking about how much she loved this. And I was like, okay, I'm really excited. I'm gonna warm it soon, whatever. And when I did it, it's not bad, but it just, it wasn't my favorite. It really reminded me that candle. And I was just like, I don't really think I like this. So rum pum plum, it's empty, but it actually wasn't a fave. I, did the whole bar around my open concept because I was that excited and yeah 
<laughs> you can see how that ended. Um, okay, let's transition to the bedroom briefly. I have two scents I did throughout the bedroom. Before, I did the cranberry candy cane in there because that day I was like sick. I was just like, oh, this would be a good like while I lay in here and kind of relax scent. Would I say it helped? Like it was nice, but yeah, you know how I feel about that scent. I did Violet Spun Sugar. This is not in my club. I had it in there briefly and I decided just to cut ties with it. It really kind of reminds me of like Starburst Sky and some other scents that I actually have. It's really, really nice. I enjoy it every time I do it, but I'm just like, I have others that are so similar that I just, I was like, it has to go. And then I also did Cashmere and Corduroy and I love this scent. This is so good. It also develops so well once it's actually warming. It smells really, really pretty and like perfumey in the clam, but warm it. It really comes to life. Those notes really come out. I feel like this is one of my like winter staples. Like I'm so happy it comes back in the winter catalog. I keep it in my club and I actually have had the fragrance flower going forever. I think I started it in February and it's still going. It's insanity, but it still smells beautiful. Like I don't care that it's still going because I still absolutely love the scent of it. So 10 out of 10 on this one. It's just like warm sexy like it's just a really nice beautiful scent and I don't know like I don't feel like I have a perfume or something to compare it to but it's really really pretty cashmere and corduroy very pretty very like borderline feminine but not too feminine if you know what I mean and then I have two that I did right around Thanksgiving so right um before Thanksgiving I'm pretty sure I did oh I did Hemingway because I was just getting in that like I really want spice apple like coziness um type of vibe and we were off some days around Thanksgiving so I did Hemingway for a few days so pretty so so pretty this one is like the opposite of how I feel about some of these other ones like fall into love where on cold it kind of smells like that falling apples rotting fruit type scent like it's almost like what's going on here and wood mixed with it but when it's warming it's so beautiful it's also a fairly strong scent perfect for this time of year so glad I have this in my club and then um on Thanksgiving I did pumpkin cinnamon swirl and I do pumpkin cinnamon swirl every Thanksgiving I have for the last couple of years and especially when we host I just love it I feel like it's a super inviting scent because it's not very strong honestly it's kind of just like a background scent it kind of just makes your house smell good but it's just like that hint of pumpkin and cinnamon roll it's so lovely my only complaint is just that it's not very strong like I wish it was so much more enveloping but then it probably wouldn't be as inviting and as like um I probably wouldn't be able to do it on holidays because people would probably get overwhelmed really fast if it was more intense um but yeah never any complaints about pumpkin cinnamon swirl like oh wow your house smells kind of wild like none of that so um and we hosted this year so love it so that's everything that we have been warming getting through i didn't grab any of my candles but kind of working on some of the same stuff I'm trying to transition more into winter stuff like I said but happy to be back to melting changing out the wax changing out the warmers so I love it so let me know what you guys have been warming and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye